years. How often are you parked next to another lifted Bronco? Well, right now, apparently. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have Mitchell Watts here from Town & Country TV. He doesn't even need an introduction. I feel like I'm by a celebrity right now. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you so much for doing this video. So we're gonna have a little bit of a friendly competition okay. between us. Okay. And we're gonna have Josh and Kyla be the judges, but we're also gonna have the viewers be the judges. And okay. we're gonna do a little game of who did it better. I like it. And we're gonna compare our Broncos. So you guys, you need to leave comments for each thing that we talk about. And I won't get my feelings hurt, and you're not going to get your feelings hurt, right? I don't know. Sometimes I get my panties in a wad. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go through. Um, we are at Super Celebration East in Townsend, Tennessee, and we've already discussed this this morning, that these are the two baddest looking Broncos here, at least the 6th gen. I agree. I love the wrap on yours, mine. I mean, these are super sweet looking. So we're going to go through and kind of compare because we both have quite a bit of mods done. Mm -hmm. And I think I might have more mods, but would you like to beg to differ? I told you I was going to be nice about this, and I'm not I'm not going to get my panties in a wad. <laughs> I don't know, but let's just go ahead and jump into yeah, it. Yeah, let's go around, and I guess we'll start with the front right here with the front bumper. What kind of bumper do you have? ADD, Addictive Desert Designs, Rock Fighter front bumper. Uh, worn winch, rigid LED lights all the way around. And I have the bodyguard bumpers. And the reason why I went with bodyguard, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, is because all the sensors work and I have the camera relocation. And I'm thinking this round automatically goes to Krista because I don't see camera relocation on your bumper at all. I'm thinking she's wrong. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, so yeah, we've still got the camera here. You could still technically relocate that little bracket or this uh, little control pack if you wanted to. Well, but... that's not a camera relocation. That that's is true. a worn control pack relocation. She's got me, she's got me there. Round one, Krista. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Let's go up to the hood. Okay. I, I kind of don't want to because I feel like you're automatically winning. This ding, round. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Not that I'm salty. Mitchell. Not that I'm salty. Now, what do you have here? Uh, advanced fiberglass concepts, uh, Ram Air Hood. Uh, they offer this in uh, carbon fiber if you want it. Or well, this one it happens to be the fiberglass version because it was a very early kind of a pre production version of it. But as you can see, all the body lines look good and uh, it all matches. Um, and I think it really adds to the look of the vehicle. And that's the same with the fenders too, right? Yeah, so we've got the uh, the uh, front fenders. This is their two inch. Uh, so it's a two inch flare from a normal factory uh, uh, fender, if you will. Uh, and it's a one inch rise. So I get a little bit more clearance for suspension articulation because uh, I do have the Badlands and when that stabilizer bar is disconnected, I want to make sure I have enough room Hold to on. articulate. Was that a dig? It was not. It was that not. he had the Badlands. We've, we've had this ongoing bickering session because you think you're so much better than me in your big old Badlands, and I'm in my little mall crawler, outer <laughs> banks with no lockers, no stay bar disconnect. But I have some proof in the pudding that I use this like it's supposed to be used other than you. And you want that proof? Okay. Pop the hood. Pop your hood. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you've seen my latest video. I know we're going to talk about our lift kits in a minute. Um, but my Bronco's not clean. Oh. And you, you know why that is? Why is that? Because it's not a pavement princess. <laughs> it's not in the shop all the time getting these mods done. <laughs> Mine is not a pavement princess either. Now, I have not gone full sin through mud holes like you have. <laughs> But, uh, but no, I've absolutely have taken this thing off road and I've had a, now th this is kind of redneck from Alabama. There's a reason I'm holding the hood open. There's no prop. There's no hood prop. It's a long story, but I tried to go with the uh, hood struts. And then right after I installed the hood struts, I took the hood prop out and then I got the new hood, which you can't use for the, the hood struts. So hold on, this round might go to me. It, it may be. What do you guys think? I actually have, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you want to talk about redneck. This is Florida redneck. Got the prop rod here. And right before I left for Supercell, I actually, Kyla, started installing these hood struts from IAG. And as you can see, I only have one on there. And that's because I lost the little retaining clips. It got eaten by my engine bay. So I couldn't keep it on. It wouldn't stay on. 
At least so, you're not having to hold the hood. Hold on. So who? Okay, <laughs> let's let. Here's another another place where we can have a competition. Who's more redneck, holding it up, or having multiple <laughs> hold hold ups for your hood? Oh, uh, Kyle. Oh, Kyla says you're more redneck. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You obviously have something different under the hood. Two more cylinders. <sighs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Now we're going to drag race this. Yes. In your video. Yes. That I'm in. That yes. That is so awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so you're going to want to check that video out. If it is live before this video goes out, I'll tag it. Can okay. I do that in the cards? Can Absolutely. I do? I'll do that so they Absolutely. can watch it. Um, so yes, he has a 2.7. I have 2.3. Now this, this could really put us over the top because I know yeah. a lot of people are pro 2.7 mm -hmm. but I'm pro 2.3 and I was talking to you about this earlier with the alternators and all that yep. being lower in the 2.7s if you send it and go through mud holes a lot it may not be the perfect fit for someone yep. like me so we'll let you guys be the judge which is better 2.7 2.3 I got my air compressor mm -hmm. I mean, that proves that I go off-roading more than you, right? Oh, if that's the case, then let me show you my air compressor. Mine's just not underneath the hood. Jeez. <laughs> Where, uh, I thought you said you were showing me an air compressor. I, I am. I'm also going to show you something that you also have, which is the Ford Cargo Area Enclosure. Ah, yes. Yeah, so uh, as you guys have it as well, I've got the cargo area enclosure. I've got my recovery boards, which as you'll see, has got some mud on them. Oh, a little so bit. So proof, proof that they have actually been used before. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was the, the cargo area enclosure, but not just the cargo area enclosure, but actually what's underneath it. Dual Easy. ARB air compressor located underneath. The reason I did that, I didn't want to have to open my hood every time I needed to air up, air because down, air that, up. Well, that makes sense because you would have to hold Oh gosh, that's not where I was going with that, but I guess she's right. I mean, for someone <laughs> from Alabama, this is a little fancy. Like I, I'm actually a little blown away that you came up with something fancy like this and all these holders. Like not everybody in Alabama is missing their teeth. Okay, <laughs> hold on, open up. <laughs> <laughs> I got them all, but uh, we also have the uh, location to to house all of our uh, air compressor items. You know, the hoses, the air up, and then also the air down tools. So. It's nice to have it all kind of one in one location that I'm used to accessing all the time. I'm not even going to show you my off-road rig setup because you win hands down. I have my stuff underneath the cargo area mat in the little, what do you call that thing? Center console? No. I'm just the little saying. storage oh, uh, spot. Right yeah, yeah. So I have my stuff in the little storage spot underneath the, the cargo mat. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even have a table. I don't have anything cool like this. So I will grant you this round. Awesome. We'll see. <laughs> the viewers may not like the air compressor all bougie back here. Yeah, bougie. I was trying to make it easy to access, but I see where you're coming from. So, um, but now that we're back here, let's check out the bumpers. We'll start with yours. What kind of bumper, rear bumper do you have? Uh, ADD Stealth Rear Bumper. Uh, so what I like about this bumper is it's extremely high clearance. That was the goal, was to keep my approach and departure angle as high as possible, because I actually do plan on off-roading this. Now, I'm not going to be abusing it, but I will be using it. Are you saying um, I abuse mine? I did not say that. Okay. Hashtag full send. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we've got the high clearance bumper here. We've got the LEDs, the rigid LED lights, uh, and also got a really high clearance version of a muffler, the MagnaFlow Overland Series exhaust system. Which we'll need to compare the sounds. Yes, absolutely. If you want to do that, we can definitely do that. Yes, let's, let's do that now. Okay. on that yep so i have the ford performance the borla exhaust uh some people prefer mine's more of a high pitchy sound i guess and i would consider yours more of a rumbly type mm -hmm. sound yep so the viewers are definitely going to have to determine who wins that round the best part about my exhaust system is completely customizable if you don't like the way it sounds you can actually change the baffles on it completely oh. change the way it sounds bougie see <laughs> i didn't think alabama people were bougie and you're here just proving me wrong all day long now let's go back to the back because i want to talk about 
your license plate relocation here. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think I'm going to get this round. Okay. Um, just two things that I notice. Number one, I think I can steal this. Number two, there's no light. So technically this is illegal, right? In Alabama, we don't have as strict of laws. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if it was me driving around in Florida, I'm sure I'd get pulled over in a second. More than likely. Is this easily taken off? So easy, it's not even funny. So it's literally held on with a strap. Okay. And you can literally just take the whole thing off okay. that easy. So that's an inherent downside of it, but you know, it works. All right. Well, let's look at mine. Okay. As you put yours back together. <laughs> she making fun of me. <laughs> now, bodyguard came up with this whole license plate relocation kit, has the lights. The only downfall is if you want to get to your spare tire, you do have to, you know, unbolt it, but there's some spacers back here. And then I have little quick disconnects where I can take the license plate off and then get the tire off. But this is not as easily taken off as yours. I see. So that could be a plus or a minus. I don't know. For yeah. me, I would be afraid somebody would steal my license plate. Yeah. Well, thank you for telling them how. I will tell you, I've got a, uh, I've got a dash cam facing <laughs> towards the back. So if you decide to steal my tag, I'm coming He's for you. He's coming after you. <laughs> Now let's talk about some of the obvious things that we have that are very similar, mm -hmm. and that's the wrap. Yes. Now, you copied me. You <laughs> said that earlier. I you did saw not. my matte military green, and you're like, oh man, I want to do that, but I want to be a little different without being total a total uh, copycat, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, okay, so, so there was some definite influence uh, from her wrap to, our, to mine. Because uh, I was kind of thinking, do I do matte paint protection film or do I do want to do a complete color change wrap? And I saw yours, loved the way that it turned out, and I was like, well, I definitely can't do green now. <laughs> but uh, but no, we ended up going with the matte Nardo gray, and uh, I think it turned out really good. And this is going to be a hard decision. If you asked me whose is better, I don't think I could make a decision. I agree. They're be both good. Because I love the matte military green. But yours, what is it called? The Matt, Matt Nor Nordo Gray. Matt Nordo Gray. I absolutely yep. love it. What do you guys think? Who is wearing it better, Buttercup or TC Customs? Mm -hmm. Now you're trying to overcompensate for something <laughs> because you have 37s, right? That's what she said? <laughs> <laughs> that one yes. caught you off guard. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> but no, th life is bigger and better when you've got bigger tires. Bigger truck, the better. Exactly, bigger truck, the better. So you have 37s, I have 35s. We both have a Fabtech lift kit. Yes. Um, so the drive is, I mean, yours is gonna be better because you have the coilovers, but yes. my drive is not bad by any means. Yep. Um, so which do you prefer? I guess we can ask them whose wheels do they like better? You can put your comments for whose wheels. I got the RTR Tech 6, and what do you have? I've got the uh, KMC 542 Impex, and uh, I will argue I like both of those wheels a whole lot. I do too. And then we'll let them decide if they prefer 35 over 37s. And then let's go to the rock sliders here. Oh, I've been waiting on this one. Oh, I know. I know <laughs> you have been. So I have the bodyguard rock sliders. Yep. I like the bodyguard rock sliders because not only are you getting the protection underneath, but I got a step and yes, it's a little bit higher of a step since I raised it a little bit more, but it's still a step That's right. and my kids can still get in. My dogs can still get in. Yep. Now let's go to yours. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> so we've got the same functional rock slider. You can support the entire weight of the vehicle. I would assume just like the bodyguard, uh, but mine has got one little trick up its sleeve oh. and that is going to be the power deployable step. Uh, so that way, you can be a very, very small kid or a very, very small animal, and you can, I mean, it just makes it so much easier to get into a, a larger vehicle like this one. So, um, to me, it's the perfect combination. I will say, great combination, bougie. <laughs> I think you, you need a Convenience, name. there's a difference. You're the bougie Bronco now. <laughs> oh, I think that, that might be That convenient. better not stick. <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm going to get shirts made, guys. Bougie Bronco. Yes. Oh, my goodness. But, no, I've really enjoyed these things. Um they, they also kind of serve a little bit of protection as well. So like e even if you're like, oh, I'm not gonna be rock crawling, why do I need a set of rock sliders? Well, the fact that this thing sticks out so much further from the body, yeah. it actually protects your door from getting a door ding in the yes. parking lot. And I, that's important. I'm always afraid I park so far in the parking lot, yep. I'm afraid about door dings. But I look at this 
I'm not and worried I, about it anymore. Oh, well, of I course. park anywhere I want to. Oh, because that's what bougie people do. <laughs> you know, I look at these and I think of my almost 82 year old grandma that I go and I take her shopping and stuff, and I use step stools. Yep. Like, I, that's still too tall for her. And yep. if I had something like this, it would be nice. But I'm more of like a country girl. You're more bougie. Golly. This is about a parking spot, right? Yeah. Okay, so you here. Let me see if I can open it so that way you don't actually give me a door ding. Okay. <laughs> Let's. Ooh. Ooh. So Mitchell so. will bougie comment about not getting door dings because of his fancy schmancy rock sliders. How often are you parked next to another lifted Bronco? Well, right now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that is okay. So Myth Mythbusters has busted my myth. Yeah, it doesn't work if you're yeah. parked next to or, another lifted or vehicle. Or a big truck, a lifted truck, yep. or even, dare I say, a Jeep. I was just trying to protect my Bronco up against, like, Nissan Altimas Which and stuff is like true. That. And if you're going to go to a grocery store and park wherever you want, most of the time, that's I'm, what's going to be parked I'm trying to here. justify here now, okay? <laughs> now, there is one customized mod that I have mm -hmm. that I know 100% you do not have. Okay. My Bronco is named. Okay. And she has custom badging. Show it to me. Look at this. Oh. She's not just an outer bang. She's a buttercup. I see. But I do have custom badging. I'm just trying to represent our company, which is okay. TC Customs. Go ahead and show them. Go ahead and show. So, yes, it's not as fancy as, as having a vehicle with a name. But, you know, I... It, I'm trying to I'm trying to compensate here. Well, you are, and you're also showing how much you copy me because look <laughs> on top of your windshield. TC I, I did mine first. I did mine. No, maybe I didn't. Uh, maybe I didn't. I don't <laughs> know. We're gonna have to re go through the videos and see who came up with all these ideas first. But well, in all reality, it's not a competition. This video is a competition, 100%. Yes. Yes. So you guys need to leave your comments on each thing that we talked about, and Oops. overall. Um, have them vote in the comments. Yeah, vote yeah. in the comments. Just overall, everything, who's Bronco you would take? Probably both of them. But who's, if you had a choice to pick, which Bronco would you have? Thank and you so much for having yes, me. Yes, thank you so much. We had such a blast today and um, awesome Bronco. We're here at Super Celebration. We're going to be here for the rest of the week. So you can stay tuned for a ton more content. Be sure to like and subscribe. Turn those notifications on and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. This is so awesome. I can't believe I'm getting race Mitchell Watts in our Broncos and I know this isn't my channel but I think it's fitting to say buckle up buttercup the drone's not out there, it's gonna right? be close no uh I hope not I'll turn my Crunch. camera on because I <laughs> yeah, I think I put it in here yeah that exhaust does sound good